Guys, we are back with Black Veil Brides. No way. Seriously. One Seriously. Apparently we created sort of like a phenomenon with the last video. Did you expect that, Andy? I did. Because I expect everything to be a phenomenon. And I'm not saying just me. I mean everything in life I expect to be phenomenal. Okay. <laughs> me too. an optimistic point of view, and you got to have it, otherwise you're a loser. And you don't want to be a loser, right? I, I don't want to be a loser. All right, Daredevil. Been down that road. Hey, by the way, I watched Daredevil and I was getting tattooed the other day, and I was thinking about you. <laughs> really? Yep. I, uh, I was thinking about you while I was tattooing him. I don't know how to tattoo, but we just decided to do it, yeah. and it turned out pretty good. What was the tattoo? Which one nope, was it? You can't a, see it. It's, oh, on, it's on my butt, and it's a monkey. Oh, damn. It's uh, a monkey. I, by the way, um, we apologize that Danny isn't here right now uh, from asking, but they're playing a show, so precedence. Is he going to crash it later, you think? If he can get off stage. I mean, it depends. Right. If we're going to do this interview for the next two and a half hours, <laughs> I don't know. It's probably going to happen. <laughs> John's like killing himself right now, slitting his wrist over there. There you go. Well, how about this? Uh, if you guys had Don't to get a smoke, Andy, stop smoking. I'll keep smoking. I'll smoke forever. I'll smoke on you. Smoke on your face. I can truth. smell it. Truth. The okay. truth truck. I'm gonna go smoke by the truth truck. I did that the other day. I like to do it every day. Smoking e cig right next to them, and I was like, you know, it's kind of the same. It's better for you. Right. Did you forget that we don't let you ask us things? <laughs> no. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> it's getting you. It's getting. Huh? Leave me alone. Is, 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 is it on me? Is it on me? I'm scared. It's right there. Where is it? Stop it, Jonathan. Andy, get it. Be brave. I'm not brave. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! Michael, record. What are you doing? <laughs> oh wait, I think it's gone. I think we're right. <laughs> <laughs> is it gone? Nope, it's in. <laughs> Kill me! Why? Okay. All right. I think we handled that really. It's actually gone now. I think we handled that really well. I karate chopped it. it. Yeah, it's gone. I killed it. Whoa. Has anyone ever told you that? No, no, that's just a fly. That's that just was a just fly. a fly. That was just a fly. Okay. Okay. Your, your bravery is incredible. Listen. Um, I just smoked a cigarette and killed it with the with the smoke. So anyone that says not the smoke is clearly is gone. Oh, My nose is running right now because of that. Yeah, I'm kind of scared. All right, guys, tattoo one of the other Black Belt Brides members. Which one would you guys get? And why? Um, I I get Jinx. Yeah. Cause the, cause the cod piece. Clearly, I mean, like that would be my favorite part. I'd like to get his cod piece tattooed on my penis. <laughs> I get I get CC because he makes me smile. Have you ever seen his face and I'm like, wherever you could possibly put like it? A crazy CC face. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, that Dude, face. Camera. Yeah, that and face. Animated GIF. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, thank you, Tumblr. Um. What were you guys like in high school? Like, before you were all Fucking this? Fucking terrible. Really? An awful person. I believe it. I'm wow. Sorry. I'm just kidding, Andy. Asshole. I died. <laughs> in high school. Really? Yeah, my friends practiced witchcraft, so they brought me back to life. I was friends with the Black Magic kids. <laughs> I was just friends with uh, just the Black Panther kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, that was I played Magic the Gathering, Pogs, um, Star Wars cards. Final it's Fantasy. You know that Matt Good was in high school in 1972, so his frame yeah. of reference is a little different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, he was 71. Thank you. I graduated in, in really 71. a little bit older than anyone you've ever met. Wow. Yeah, so. yeah. a little bit older than me. Because I'm a sweet ass vampire. I'm 21, so I'm a little older than you. I can drink legally. Sweet. Yeah, rub it in his face or something. What's your problem? What was that? <laughs> do you want me to go grab some alcohol and drink it for you? Hey, yes, I do actually. <laughs> Being defiant. Look at you. I'm Brian Stars. I, there's laws that yeah. allow me to do. I can hey, legally hey, drink. When we go to Europe, he can drink all he wants. When you go to Europe, never. Yeah, you never go to Europe. Because you're here in this fucking cornfield <laughs> with goddamn 10 people at Orb Tour today. It's worth noting this is my hometown. <laughs> yeah, good luck living here. Yeah, I yes. it's, it's great. Sweet life, Brian. Me and my corn, I Jeez. love it. Talk shit about Andy. Yeah. I might like, start I could, crying. I, I could vote blah, 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 to buy a gun. You yeah, can I, <laughs> I know, but I haven't because there hasn't been an election since... Can, whatever. Can you yeah, fake an accent, Andy? Can I fake an accent? Yes. Can you? What do you mean, fake one? Like, can you say in a British accent... No. I, I, no? I can, but I refuse to. Why? Because that's saved for my secret British accent society that I exist in. We spend a great deal of time just talking they were, to they, each they other. Were the ones they want you to. No, dude, they're not. Uh, they wouldn't. No, I mean, seriously. I mean, if Danny, Brian, yeah. they would fucking kill me. 
Yeah. It's serious. It's a serious shit. It's Danny, okay. Don't. Danny leads the organization. Danny leads it because actually Danny isn't British. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a fake. The whole it's thing's a, a sham. It's a whole big. It's a. It's. He's putting one over on you. Because you know, like asking Alexander two over on you. I don't know what that start, means, but I'm kind of scared. It's a sexual thing. <laughs> it's sexual. I'm gonna put two over on you. America and other lands that are watching this, affiliated with America, the American affiliates. I, uh, I'm gonna put two over on you. Keep <laughs> and that, me. Keep that. And Go me. To sleep with that. Put that on a T-shirt. Read it. Put it upside down on a T-shirt, and then read it on your chest <laughs> when you're going to sleep. People will actually do that. You know that, right? <laughs> uh, what? Put things upside down on a T-shirt so yes. they can read it? Yeah. No, they don't. That's uh, not true. They might do it. What is the ba- what is your guys' current most overused joke? Brian oh. stars. <laughs> <laughs> I made that up myself, probably. Uh, that's. Uh, but besides here, that, hug so me, but don't fuck up my ribs. I will say one thing: I have a little bit of animosity towards you for reporting that I had died. Well, Thanks for that. Sweet way to get way to get some views on your fucking videos. Andy Six is dead. Oh, but it's just a name change. Ah, uh, uh, the glo- well, but you made fun of my hometown, so I heard you. After the fact, you did it first. You led, and I came in after with a supplementary. Asshole thing. Reaction. Action. Supplementary asshole. It's the name I of my new I can see band. into the Check future, actually. So I knew you were going see to do it. The future? I doubt you can see anything. You're blind. <laughs> You're daredevil. You're, You're blind. Daredevil. That's right. What? Can you guys read that next question for me? Yeah. Sure. Hold on. Don't eat it. I won't eat it this don't time. Eat it. <laughs> don't eat it. Where are we at? I don't know. Just pick one. If Brian Starr's made a porno, now we'll go to a different one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Would you buy it? Uh, no. Have you ever had a near death experience? Have you? I've had, I tried, I tried to fly recently. Um, yeah. That didn't work out so well. Yeah. What exactly were you thinking when you were on that stage? I think that's what one people are asking. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's important to note that I probably wasn't thinking a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, clearly, I was not thinking um, efficiently. Mm-hmm. I, I decided to sit. Which, by the way, if you're ever going to jump 30 feet off of some marble onto some more marble, don't sit down first, because shoving yourself into it doesn't always work out the way that you'd hope. Um, That's an understatement. For, for me, it worked out because I'm a huge broken ribs aficionado. So I was always hoping to have a little broken ribs situation. You feel a little more badass now? No. No. No, because have you seen the video? I look retarded. I just sort of flop in two different directions. My hair looks amazing. <laughs> My hair is very <laughs> voluptuous. That is the frame rate. <laughs> We're inside a tent because it's raining, by the way. The weather uh, here is great, too. Also, I only do interviews in blue tents. So, or gymnasiums. Or gymnasiums, or outside of our trailer. <laughs> we were going to go way, in the this trailer. Is a trailer again. Uh, yeah, man. the same trailer. So this time it's open, so you're not getting the free publicity out of it. <laughs> yeah. Like last time. I think Motor coaches doesn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they loved it. Yep. Um, did you have, okay, the near death experience thing though. So, uh, is it true Matt. you finished? Okay, I Matt, have you had one? I always finish. Take is that, that a sexual oh, reference? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Oh boy, wait, there, were, there wasn't even a question asked. I don't want to. Near death experience. Oh, I tried to walk off the bus while I was driving down the highway like three, two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. I How did that go? That counts. Uh, the driver locked the door before I could do it. <laughs> I was sleepwalking. Wow. I was crip walking. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're dead. Did it? How bad did that hurt, by the way? Andy? Uh, like I broke my ribs. It was about the same <laughs> amount of pain as if I were to break all of my ribs. Wow. But you only broke three. I only broke three. That's I mean, right. it doesn't really matter. Are you really going to nitpick right now? He, only, he broke only broke three. three, yeah. And he's not 21. How many do you have? <laughs> 11? I have 14. Oh, so yeah. I have extra ones. Um, what? Here's a form for you guys. What's your favorite thing about a woman's body? Ribs. <laughs> the ribs. How about you, Matt? Sexy. Uh, I don't know, hams. Hams? Yeah, no, hands. Not ham. ham. <laughs> yeah, ham. <laughs> when a girl eats ham, it's like when she's rubbing no, it over her face. Like a big old like, ham ass. Matt, Matt means he likes a nice hammy woman, like a yeah. <laughs> little extra ham on the situation. Yeah. No, hands, man, hands. If girls gross hands, man it freaks hands. me out. Man hands? I, I want, you know, you get to hold a girl's hand all the time. He wants to be a nice hand. Do you ever like to hold man hands? Yes, all the time. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a wonderful thing to do. Holding um, man hands is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Why not? I'm how scared. many tests? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. How many tests have you failed, Andy? All of them. All of them. If this were a test, I'd fail. I believe yeah. the test of life. The test of interview. Uh, the the test, test of talking about your band in an interview, which is something that Matt and I have now failed at several times. We just get a little for, sidetracked. By the way, for anyone watching this, we are in bands, um, and in some interviews, we give information about that. 
And then in others, like the Brian Stars ones, just don't give a fuck. Sparing. Yeah, very sparing. But Matt loves it. No. It's good. Like me. That's right, Matt good. How do you, um... That was punny. Yeah, it was. Super punny. Super punny. And that was punny, too. Before you guys were... <laughs> <laughs> oh! okay. Are you okay now? That's the noise Jesus is going to make when he comes back, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go, Ah! Oh, I'm here! I'm here! I'm here to save you! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You probably will. I'm look? Jesus! What's he gonna look like? Yeah, what's you? he? <laughs> Are you Jesus? No. He's gonna be me, but black. <laughs> a black version, blacker version of you with all... So he just completely blacked out then. He'll be a blackout. You're a racist. <laughs> that was kind of racist, I'll admit. You're, sorry, uh, my sorry. bad. It makes me uncomfortable, actually, a little bit. Look where you're from, though. I mean, it's excusable. <laughs> That's how we it's are like around here. We have built-in <laughs> racism here. We do. Accidental racism. Let's go ahead. <laughs> accidental okay. rapist. We'll it's for better it. than an accidental rapist. <laughs> Being an accidental racist is much better. Accidents. Don't ever accidentally rape. Sorry to or all non-white really viewers don't. that Brian Stars is a racist interviewer. Full stop, don't rape. <laughs> my brother is Asian. This is my brother, by the way, Michael. Hello, Michael. So I can't be too racist. So we're excluding Asians in your racism. That's right. Okay. Asians and... Yeah. That's more racist that you think of a specific race when I say racism. You're like, no, Asians are fine. But I didn't say shit about Asians. I love all of my viewers. How about that? <laughs> and before Sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> yeah, Jesus well, it's Christ. all good. What, um, what's the worst job... Well, Jesus wouldn't have been white. He, racist against what Jesus. What would he have been like? He was in the Middle East, Evie Brown, for sure. <laughs> that wasn't racist. No, he was just citing a color. I'm like a like a not all European. people from the I'm like an ivory, like a rich ivory. What color am I? Um red. Red. I'm sunburned today. Like a yeah. like a burnt ivory. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst job you had before you were doing all this? Nope. No. Did you have one? I worked at Journeys. God. Where? I love talking about how much I loved working at Journeys all the time, and Andy hates it. It's not that I hate, let me clarify, I don't hate Journeys. <laughs> journeys, if you're watching, I know you are. He's gonna watch this. Um, I don't hate you, I just hate Matt Good's joy for you. It's different. It's like, for years, I pretended not to like Harry Potter just because I didn't, I didn't like the joy that it gave Matt Good. So, this is, and most things, I, I try to pretend not to enjoy so that we can't share things as friends. Yeah. Wait, time out. You don't like Harry Potter? He loves Harry Potter. Oh, okay. And I also like Harry Potter, Let's but for years I ridiculed him for liking Harry Potter solely on the basis of being a bad friend. Is, what was that like? My fly was down. I don't know if you guys caught that. No, that's okay. <laughs> I'm it, sure they'll gif it. It was extremely <laughs> upsetting to know. He literally made fun of me for a year about liking Harry Potter, and then one day he's like, yeah, actually, I've read all the books, Wait, so I know everything so about you, it. Would you be like, ha-ha, Harry Potter sucks, you're a loser? I mean, it's a, I was a bit more like eloquent than that, but... Okay, what were you... What more well-spoken. What's the meanest thing he said about it? Um, I can't really talk about it. That difficult? Yeah, it hurts inside really badly. That's what she said. I don't really want to cry on camera right now. <laughs> Random, that's what she said, Joe. So, um, Harry Potter, what house do you guys think you'd be in if you were in Harry Potter? Huffle poof. Crapple, crapple, cram. Gryffindor! Yeah, I don't know. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Stop acting like you don't care. Is, I don't care. I don't care at all. I like reading the fictional books. I don't need to put myself inside the story. What if I went to Hogwarts? What would I do there? I don't give a shit. The people that go to Hogwarts in the fictional tale go there. I don't need to know. I don't need to wear a fucking robe. I wear enough shit, okay? I don't need yeah, to you add. Dress up. You more. do already dress up. You have there. I saw, hey, God I, damn it. I, hey, I got signed up for the beta version of Pottermore.com today and actually put you in a house. So I'm excited to see which one they put you in. Oh, Me, God. personally, in. All right. I'm hoping for Griffin. What house though. would I be in? Or what character do you think I am from Harry Potter? Oh, Poor yeah, house. The one kid that blows up the bridge in the new movie. The one that like the no one, one really likes. The sword of Gryffindor and chops off the snake's head, the really dorky kid. But he chopped off the snake's head and that's yeah. all that matters. You know, that's cool. I forget his name right now. But he was Neville. Neville, Neville, Long, Neville, Long, Neville, Neville Longbottom. Longbottom. That's you. Neville Longbottom. Longbottom. Ryan stars Neville Longbottom. as Neville Longbottom. That would also be my porn star name. Accidental rapist. <laughs> the Neville Longbottom story. <laughs> of racism. With Bill Cosby. <laughs> Bill Cosby like, teaches like, you how not to be racist. Ryan, do you like pudding? Yes. How much? I don't know where you're going with that. A, a lot? You really like where pudding? Where you be going with it? I don't know. I, I don't know. trust him, man. I want to know your love of pudding. I love pudding. What's your favorite flavor? Um, blueberry. 
There's blueberry pudding. That would be yogurt, my friend. Oh. Pudding. How pudding. did you confuse that? Chocolate. Okay, so I'm you're not racist favorite. then. It's okay. Right. Oh, if he I would have said... He yeah. loves chocolate. I do. <laughs> um, what would you... Ch if you could change one thing about Andy, what would you change? I would make him like Harry Potter as much as me. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love Harry Potter? 11. 11? Okay. He doesn't know shit about Batman. It's Why true. are we not getting on him for not liking my like fanboy shit? I don't. I don't have the same passion for Batman that you do. Are no, you passionate for Batman? It's unparalleled. But I do love Batman but I don't quite a bit. if I were Batman. Yeah. Like I do. I made the Batman costume. I made a racist Batman costume. That was an accident. And we've been over this. And I get harassed on Twitter all the time. Stop harassing me on Twitter saying I'm a KKK wizard. I'm not a KKK Grandmaster wizard. It's the Grand Wizard. Of the KKK. You know, someone tried to bring me black paper the other day so I could make a new Batman costume to rival the white Batman costume. And then someone also showed me a picture of a white Batman to make me feel better. I didn't know there was a white Batman. I didn't know either. But, but there's apparently a white Batman. I, I, I want to talk about something right now. <laughs> All right. It's important to me. I want, I just want everyone that's watching this to realize that this is, this is the, the highest moment in your life. And nothing after this interview is ever going to compete with how great this is. For me, for you, this is it for all of us. All of us. So take this moment and hold on to it, bottle it if you will, um, and take, take the YouTube video, crush, first of all, crush your desktop computer into many pieces. Put some milk in the pieces of the computer into a blender and drink the computer because this is your life, this is your lifeblood. So, that's, that's what I want to say. If nothing else, take away from this that A, I'm clearly a psychopath, and B, this is an amazing moment. You're a psychopath? Clearly, I just asked everyone to eat their computers. <laughs> don't, hey, by the way, don't actually eat your computer. It may be eat your computer. Poisonous. It may be poisonous. Have, have you ever seen a ghost? Saw you. That's true, am I dead? Before you got sunburned, probably. The thing, is, the thing is, it's funny about this. After this interview, you will be. So pretty much everybody here is seeing a ghost. You threatened to kill me once, and then you didn't ever catch me. I run pretty fast. Are you a track athlete? I am a track athlete. I mean, we track, track shoes right now. I am. We all know about my gazelle legs, so let's not. I still put it underdressed. I think we should yeah. have a race later. I want to see how the three of us who can run the fastest. Oh, we should have a race after it's over. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it. And you want to run this field? You want to do it right now? No. Just, no, because then I'll be winded. Oh, yeah, good point. We need to finish the interview and then we'll race. Okay. I don't want to ever finish this interview. Describe your manhood with one of your song titles. Either one of you. All your hate. <laughs> That's intense. It's hateful, you man. You win all the ladies with that one. I have a hateful penis. Your penis hates everything. I'm pissed. I'm pissed off. Why is it so angry? Knives and pens. Knives and pens. <laughs> That was gonna be mine. A lot of phallic related things. The mortician's daughter. <laughs> God bless you. The legacy, that's pretty. The legacy, ooh. Yeah. That'll be mine, actually. I'm not gonna give you that. Fallen angels. <laughs> like at one time it was great, but now it's, it's just. It's sort of dead. And Brian Starr's penis. <laughs> Matt, defend me here, man. I don't know how. I'm Andy's friend. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Ah. One up to get. <coughs> All right, let's do some you, questions. Have you ever thought why people like Black Belt Brides and, and drugs? Why are, we, why are you... I cannot talk. <laughs> out of all the bands out there, why have you two succeeded? Um, it's probably because of our hateful penises. More than anything. <laughs> yeah. You have, I, you have a vengeful, rage, rageful... Rageful is not a word, but I'll use it. Uh, penis. World is yours. That's true, as, as you've proven. Yeah, I mean, have you ever thought about using that for your interviewing techniques? Having lead a hateful with the penis? penis? Lead with the penis. Lead with the penis. You lead know how most people that, you know, they struggle with anger management have small penises? Well, most people that deal with success have vengeful, rageful penises. All of the hate goes to my dick. <laughs> Make that into a t-shirt, America. <laughs> my face, all the hate goes into my dick. How about this, Andy? Do you want to wake up in 35 to 40 I would years? I'd love to wake up in 35 years. I'd like to con continue to wake up. <laughs> That's it. Do you want to be doing this when you're 35, 40? Yeah. Yeah? Still the dressing hell, up? And the hell else am I going to do? I am. I'm like 42. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is it kind of, at one point, was your relationship creepy because he was so much younger? 
No, I don't even think about it. He's like a 50 year old. <laughs> I'm really not that much younger. I don't know what. How, how old are you? Well, but he's like 40, 52. right? 52 years old. Yeah. There's food. I think the age is in the sort soul, of. not in the body. And if you really want to put it like that, I'm a lot younger than him in a lot of ways. <laughs> he's sort of like, he's like my son. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm going to try and get Andy married to my mom so he can be my stepdad. Are you, Just are, to make things super awkward every day. He can like ground me, make me do dishes and stuff. Are you? Do you approve of this plan? Still drink with you, but in a weird way where I keep calling you son. Yeah. And I'll start drinking scotch. Isn't this nice, son? Just to sit down, and have a glass of scotch together, and talk about your day at school. Why would you go? Are you going back to school? Yeah, just so you can be my dad. <laughs> no, college. But I mean, we can pretend it's high school. All right. Here's a question: How many of you viewers would like to see Matt Good and I enroll in, in high school for a day? Maybe it's your high school. Uh, write in with your high schools. people just raise their hands. Oh, me like, oh, yeah, write Come your to high, my school high school. Then. Uh, I'm not talking about like to hang out and sign stuff. I mean to be enrolled. Enrolled. Take and tests. Take tests and just deal with all the shitty drudgeries of school. Get ISS suspended. All those good things. Would you be in trouble a lot? Yes. I mean, I assume that I would be in the same amount of trouble that I was in when I was in school. Which except was. Except now I'm older and shittier, so I'd probably just be even more vengeful. See, being an adult is not allowed in high school, which means you can't. You, you can't pretty much do anything I do. We can't smoke. We can't cuss. We can't drink. We can't do almost anything that we do. So yeah. I mean, well, if we went to high school, we it certainly to... can't play music professionally in high school. That's no. true. Well, I don't know. There are some bands that somehow in pull school? it off. We're going to play music in school. Yeah, in sure. the school. Sure, we can play Whoa. it at the lunch tables <laughs> with acoustics. Stand up on the table. We can play Mortician's Daughter 50 times every day at lunch. Well, that is what I've always hoped my school experience would be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do some questions. All right. Let's get to this shit. Oh, we're, we we're need to make this. The, again, this needs to be on the front page of, of YouTube. Oh yeah, we got you on the front page, by the way. You didn't do that. No, I did. I, you did. I could choose any of my videos and I picked that one. You did? it's the yeah. best one. So oh, I think I deserve I, a thank you. I'm some guy in some band and I'm gonna tell you about how great my breakdown is. That's not cool, we're cool. That's right, you guys are cool. Ice cool. Cold. Like, <laughs> all right. Like iced tea. Here's a fun one Bye. for you, Matt. Marry Bye. one, kill one, fuck one. The Black Veil Brides Band. <sighs> Wow, really? Deep question, yeah. All right, well, I would marry Andy. I would fuck CC. <laughs> Why? Because he's funny, and I've heard weird rumors about him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. I'd kill... I feel bad. I don't want to kill any of them. I'd kill you. <laughs> kill me? No, Brian. I'm going to run, though, if I have to. <laughs> he's putting it down his crotch. I do not want those, those questions. questions are gonna smell like tour balls now, which is a good thing for you. I can't. They're down there. Andy, why? Try and read them now. Try and read the questions now, Brian. Come on, Brian. Hold on. Hold You're on. a professional, right? Hold on. Read I the questions something for you. Oh, and there we go. You know how many girls would kill to be in this position right now? Which position? Standing up. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many girls would kill to be standing up right now? <laughs> so many. Hey, all the girls out there watching, please, right now at this what, uh, moment, stand up. What what Disney princess do I remind you of? Ooh. Um, oh, I said Sailor Moon last time, but that's, that's not, not a, a princess. princess. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say... How about, let's just do this. What Disney character do I remind you of? I would say Scar. For me? For me. Lion oh, King. okay. I would Scar? go with Scar. What do you think? Scar for me? Scar's a good one, yeah. We've talked about this. So. What do we got for you? Yeah, what about me? What about me? Um, okay, so Matt, I'm going to say... You're like... See, I, I don't normally put on the spot. This is what it feels like, right? It sucks, doesn't Buy it? Buy me some time. Do something real quick. See, you're supposed to be quick with your wit. Oh, yeah. Andy's right. Well, Andy busy. will just go do that then. I've done 14 about. interviews today. I am tired. You've now seen the inside of my mouth. <laughs> Wait, All right. Say it in here. You've seen the inside of my... You've seen the inside of my mouth. Adjust those What levels. fucking Disney character so, am I, damn it? Figure it out! Cinderella and Pocahontas. Jesus. Really? Who, well, you are the war paint, like... You are the war paint. Why am I Cinderella? <laughs> You're the war paint. Oh, of course. So do I, I, do I, do I, have I bet, And you sing, and Pocahontas sings a lot. I paint with all the colors of the wind. <laughs> <laughs> does he look like a Native American to you? Like I said, he does all the painting and stuff, so... It's it cool. like a Native American to me. And I have a very small raccoon friend that follows me around. <laughs> What's his name? Cropo. Why am I Cinderella again? Just any because reason Because you're, you're waiting for your Prince Charming to get you at midnight, because that's past your bedtime. Can I ride around in a pumpkin? 
<laughs> I am a pumpkin. And you wear glass slippers sometimes. I'm a human pumpkin. All right, I'm gonna, uh, oh boy. What I'm not gonna be touching these. Uh, the thing is, I'm not done. I got more <laughs> shit to say. How, okay, here's a good one. How big, Andy, is your big. microphone? That's what I thought you were gonna say. Yeah. It's comparable to that one. Yeah? Mine's, a, mine's a bit bigger, because it's wireless. So oh, it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you think of my microphone? Sucks. I told you, I love Yeah. I love your little Where'd station. Where'd you buy that radio shack? <laughs> I ordered it online, actually. Oh, okay. What about, uh, you have a big microphone when you sing? Um, no. When you went from first to last? Um, no. It was small? No, it was just standard. I don't really need to compensate for anything. Can we take your shirt off right now? I feel like it's hot out here. No. Let's get naked, everybody. <laughs> everybody at home, take your shirts off while you watch this video. You got the one button on done this, so you're getting a little right. almost I'll just sort of like, around, by the way. Here, I'll, do the, I'll, do, I'll take one button off for yeah, you. Hey, look, look, here we got it, we got it. There we go. Yeah, there yeah. you go. All right. I wish I could pop your collar, but you don't really have one. We'll get there. Oh, and he's got a nice skateboard. Hold on, I'm gonna get a Oh, he's Pause. so popular. Pause. Some, as we're waiting here, what do you think of the interview so far? I love the interview so far. I love my feet. I love to be on them. I love, you know how many people would be killing, killed to stand up in this position right now? <laughs> you know how many I people say I coin that for him. Yeah, they'll stand up, watch. Stand, stand up. up if you're watching. Everyone stand up. Hey, you. You, you with the hair. This is not I... the second time this has happened in this interview, by the way. They burn you? Oh my gosh, you're like gonna light these on. Can you imagine if they lit on fire? It's just a burn notice. You, you don't know what burn them at the no end. No one knows what burn notice is. At the no end, you should burn, burn it. Burn uh, we'll get there. We need the lighter. No, no, no. Not yet. We need the questions. No, we no. don't. No. Oh shit! They're lighting my questions. It's not working. What is the most interesting text on your phone? Oh shit! No, we need more. Oh. We need more. We need... Don't. No. 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 Let it go. Uh oh. oh shit. I think we might have a problem. <laughs> Oh, you're going to light a forest fire! Oh, shit! Ah! Yeah, there's still some questions left. Oh, there's still questions. There's still questions. <laughs> first, first burned, this now! Is, this is why the Matt Good and Andy Beersack interviews are the most loved. Because we do things that other people wouldn't dare to do. I think I was pretty brave holding on as long as I did, you know? You did. Not really. <laughs> Look at this. Now it's like old parchment. <laughs> yeah! We could probably sell that to Pawn Stars. Ask Matt any question you want, Andy. Will you? Will, going on? will you marry that guy? For one million dollars. Okay. And no less. No more, no less. And if you rub your feet all over Brian's face. Feet to face? Yeah. All right, we're doing foot face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, do I have to bend over? Bend? No, you don't have to bend over. Why is Brian Starr trying to bend over right now? Well, I want to stand. I put my feet on his face. He's like, do I have to bend over? Well, I mean, like, <laughs> I don't believe in your flexibility. He has great flexibility. You're about to see it. You're about to see that shit. When he I runs, also have yeah. Great flexibility. All right. Have you received an interesting <laughs> text recently? And would you read it or tell us about it? Yeah, I got one from Jeremiah, their sound guy. Today, two of them that are animated gifs of little dolls of Andy getting butt, butt fucked by Batman or something. That's what it seemed to look like anyway. Yeah. Have you seen this? It was... It's rough. It's an animated gif of little Andy doll walking up and then Batman comes up and goes duh, 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 and then they leave. It's rough. It's based on a true experience? Uh, I mean, no, but... How much do you love Batman? I love Batman, but not that way. <laughs> you wouldn't let me... I love Batman as a friend. <laughs> what if he gave you his bat belt? His utility belt? Then? If he, I would still just love him as a friend. You wouldn't let him butt fuck you for his bat belt? John! Would you would you let Batman butt fuck you for his utility belt? Twice. One more time. What was that? Twice. Twice and once. And a thumbs up. All right. Twice and once. You know, getting butt fucked wouldn't be that bad for a bat belt. It's like ten minutes of weird pain, like backwards poop, and then <laughs> and then you have a sweet bat belt forever. You can climb buildings. You can throw grenades. Here's at a people. question, uh, not to sound offensive to any of our gay viewers: Is getting butt fucked like backwards poop? I mean, right that's all in. I can imagine it being. At least Matt upon Good entry. Matt thinks that fucking is like... Sexist. Well, upon entry. That's all I can really... I mean, upon what else could it... Upon entry. Yeah. I mean, what else could it feel like? Getting a reverse poop jab. <laughs> uh, 
By the way, from now on, the new slang for anal sex is reverse poop job. How do the words moist and ointment make you feel? Like a reverse poop job. Gross. I don't like either of those words. I like I was seeing you get a reverse poop job. Wait, like what? Nothing. I didn't hear what he said. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Next question. Um, ah! Okay, Andy, that, was just, that was just a piece of paper. What do you, when you go home to your parents, what do you tell them about all of this? I mean, I'm sure they're curious. Like, you have a pretty insane life, dude. Well, I mean, for the most part, my parents are very much a part of my life, so they know everything that happens. I mean, my, my dad is one of my, one of my best friends, and, and I'm really close to my mother, so. I mean, for the most part, they know everything, and they think it's funny, and they enjoy it, and we get laughs. I mean, I, I was an only child, so I grew up with, with just my parents, so, yeah. I mean, we, we all sit down and you know, talk about my life and have a drink together. And, Isn't and that part of the family? Yeah, my dad loves Matt. And your mom, really. Yeah, they both do, but my dad in particular will give you lots of hugs. Yeah, he will. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I stayed, uh, Andy, Andy's mom and I, uh, we kind of were like his caretakers when his ribs were broken, and I stayed in a hotel room with him and his mom for like, what, two weeks? Yeah. Yeah. We got very close. It was fun. We watched TV together, had laughs, walked to the grocery store. They wrote a song, uh, it's a take on Unbreak My Heart. It's called Unbreak My Ribs. Yeah. And they it was pretty it good. Every day. Did it work? And then we, we also sang Don't Break My Ribs, My Achy Breaky Ribs. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Don't Break My Other Ribs. Other classic hits you may have heard of. Not to be confused with the grindcore band Unhoping for Herpes. Yeah. Do you have any regrets in all of this? A regret of this, inter this interview, this basically. This <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the one same One of the thing. biggest regrets in my life <laughs> is yeah. standing here with you and doing this. But oh. I do it all the time. I'm... I think I don't you're know becoming quite fond of it. I don't know what I think is going to happen. It's always shit. Shit so gets lit on fire, we race, um, we, we get attacked by bees. We're going to, yeah. I regret that you didn't get stung by the bee on your eyeball. I regret that it didn't sting you. Did really you run track? No. Because I could have. I'm worried right now, like the competitive part of me is. I might, my, um, I I'm might, wearing my pants might fall clothes. off. Which would be awkward. Your clothes are much more suitable. You have running shoes, you have shorts. Where are shorts. we doing this? Are we going uphill? Do we have a destination? <laughs> Where's the end point? Why don't we run to there? And back. That's not very far. We should run to that Sprint. John Lennon bus. No. No, I'm not running up the hill. You can get fucking... In the grass. ...bug bites all over your goddamn legs. I'm not doing that shit. Hey, you have shorts, and I hear there's a lot of ticks out here. Good luck with that. You say tits? Ticks. Oh. I hear there's a lot of tits out here. Not too many tits. Mostly you just have to be careful. Lots of dicks. What do you think that question Be said? Be careful in your shorts, there's a lot of dicks out here. What do you think this question <laughs> said? Uh, that said, body, wolf, or vampire? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no what's the answer? What's body, the... wolf, or vampire? What would you choose? Clearly body wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly body wolf. Does the body wolf stand up? Body wolf loves he to stand up. He would kill to stand up. <laughs> the question is actually, if you were in Twilight, which, uh, would Can you I be werewolf or vampire? the edges of these? <laughs> yeah. What the sentence says? Up and who is single? Done body wolf or vampire and in why? <laughs> so, well, how do you, what's your response? I got another one here. That, I think that's racist. Story like we did with Jaden, animal. Read it out loud. Make go. <laughs> <laughs> I have great questions, don't I? I love how you have them labeled. Yeah. Making it big, fun and goofy. The big finish. Oh, let's do the big finish. All right. Well, the first thing I gotta do is uh, that's the, the be the race, I guess. Oh, I know something you guys will love to do. Okay, real quick. Don't get too excited here. Keep filming. Oh, hold the mic, by the way. All right. He's very wrong. Well. He has question. no idea what we love to do. No, nothing at all. What? what? <laughs> so, the present you brought us is in a red folder. <laughs> Sweet, a red <laughs> folder. High five. I Woo! I can already tell you that you clearly don't know what we love. Are we gonna draw each other? I thought you're 21. Yeah. You should have brought us liquor. What's wrong with you? Yeah, where's? <laughs> you're like 40, right? Yeah. Well, this is supposed to be a present. All right. Well, I'm gonna go buy myself presents. I want you to draw. No. Matt. All right. All right. All right. I can't wait to draw Andy. And I want you to commentate on what you're doing. All right. What do you think he's gonna do, Matt? He's probably gonna draw a big penis. Nope. He's oh. All right. Down there. All right. I already know where Ooh. this is going. What is this? Oh. I already know where this oh. is going. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. No, this is great. This is awesome. Is the suspense killing you guys? Probably. Well, he's doing that. Um, would you be a werewolf or a vampire if you were in Twilight? <sighs> I really, I just can't, I can't support this question anyway whatsoever. But completely outside of that movie, I'd rather be a werewolf because I feel like that'd be a little bit more fun. Yeah. The vampires can like fly and stuff. 
Yeah, but you have to go, you can't be awake during the day, you have to kill people for blood and all that. It's too much work. Werewolf, you're just a dude that can turn into a fucking wolf, and that's way more fun than... It's a body wolf. Body wolf. All right, what did you draw, Andy? Show it to the camera. Ooh. Wow. I don't know how to draw anything other than Batman. All right, Matt, you can draw me. Okay. All right. Other dude on this paper. Oh, okay. New paper? Yeah. All right. And while we're doing that, Andy, we'll buy him some time. All right. Um, we're gonna do the one story game or one word game. You just keep telling a story, one all right? Story game. <laughs> Isn't that an interview? What? Isn't that what an yeah, interview the is? One story game. It's like you keep playing the one story game over and over again. So you just add the next word. So we're gonna do it about Matt. Right. Matt is the is. Try again. Is Matt is the is um, ugly. Is. I don't think he gets it. Are you okay, Andy? Is. I think he gets it. I think it. he fell a little hard in that one down. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> is. I think Andy likes making me feel awkward. <laughs> and my voice just cracked. My voice cracks you a lot because I'm still, you know, even though I'm 21. Stop saying how old you are. Nobody gives a shit. I, even though I'm, I'm 21. Oh, 21. Uh, when I you turn 21. I take this blue shirted man seriously until. It's 21. When are you gonna turn 21? Do you own any other color shirts? No. I'm sort of like you. You wear black all the time. No, I mean, I get that, but yeah. I'm I'm like a cartoon person, so. Well, so am I in some way. There you go. <laughs> you're like you're the blue Doug. The blue Doug, like with the one hair. You've got some. <laughs> what the fuck is going on right now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a mean drawing. I gotta go draw Matt after this. Okay. All so right. Here we, here we go. go. Describe it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Brian Stars um, holding his penis <laughs> with his pants down. Do you like it, everybody? I think it's pretty good. I want to make sure the camera can very clearly see this. <laughs> All right, so, I get, I'm going to get my revenge now. Uh, I'm going to you... sign it just so you can keep this on your wall forever because I know you will. There you go. All right. All right. <laughs> it's my turn. All right, we're going to play the one word story game. Okay. Brian. Likes is wakeboarding. Is John Brian penis? What was that? Penis. Penis. All right. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> I gotta draw Matt. You gotta keep going. You gotta do my job. You're Brian Stars. Z Be Brian Stars. Z. Can I talk in a fake? You need a blue. Yeah. Like, can I affect a voice? How do you perceive me? Act like me. Hello, everybody. This is Brian Stiles, and I just I wanted to come to you today to tell you that I lo I love Matt Good so much that when I look at him, I have to take my pants off and I touch my penis with my right hand. <laughs> the importance of the hand that I use is is vast, so my right hand is the only hand that I will use. To touch my penis when I think about Matt Good. Matt Good, let me ask you a quick. Let me let me ask, let me ask you something real quick. Is that black right now? <laughs> I'm gonna do my impression of Brian Stars. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Brian Stars. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. I like everyone except everyone that isn't Asian and white. And um, I'm here today to talk to Andy Beersack about Black Veil Brides. What's your, Brian. What's, your, what's your favorite thing about tour, Andy? Well, Brian, the thing that I like most about touring is <laughs> I just enjoy the experiences that I have. And I like to meet different people. And I, jeez, <laughs> we've been out on the road for some time now. And I like to know that if if I spend enough time on the road, I'll, I'll have been on the, uh, the tours. So the thing is, the reason I like touring is because of that mainly. And and, and let me ask you something. How, how do you how do you cope with being famous on an everyday level basis? Boy, boy howdy, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> the thing the thing about that is that it's it's just it's a barrel of crazy every day. And I lo I love I love so much about all of the things and touring and can I t I my band has a breakdown that is insane. So it goes. It's it, you can you can chug a 
chug it, chug it, chug, and it, it's so, and then we jump in place in for several minutes. Oh, that's very fascinating, y'all. We get down very low, and we touch the ground almost in a in a this position, and 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 then we come back up, and then we run in place together. Again. Uh, are you familiar with the with the it's crab? I love touring so much. No, are you familiar with the crab corn that these, these little kids do? I don't know what that is. I've only known music from 2005 post. I don't know anything before that. Oh, Was there music before that? I don't. I don't think so. I think it uh, it started in. I believe so. Yes. The Beatles, they started in 08, right? I love them all! Oh, God, me too. Really He's been drawing for so long. I'm drawing both of you. Why are you still drawing? It's, I'm almost ready. Just buy me like two more minutes. Alright. Okay. I'm kind of bored of the, the character I was doing earlier. By the way, that yeah. character's called Really Stoked Tour Guy. So. <laughs> He's just really stoked on touring. I'm kind of bored of standing in a weird field. This is the longest drawing, I know. Alright, 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 all right. here we go, here we go. It took you that long for that piece? That looks like shit. Alright, so, this is, um, this is Matt Good that cool. I drew, can you see? Yeah, yeah. that's good, I like that. Alright, so basically, there's a bottle of alcohol, and then you have a beer gut someday when you're like 70 and you're old. This is old to you, by and the I way. I love penis. And you love penis, and boo, I'm drunk, is what you're saying. Boo! What are your thoughts on this? Acne when I'm 70? Is this what the... <laughs> and your nose is a duck. I develop acne when I'm 70, everybody. <laughs> this is my future. Cool. What do you, do you think it... Yeah. Do you okay. think you're going to have, like, surgery for that by then? Hopefully. Yeah. And then this is Andy, but I was briefly interrupted, but <laughs> he has this random thing on coming out of his head. I have legs coming this out of my face. This is the worst drawing that has ever been drawn by a human being, ever. I, Ladies and gentlemen, to wrap up this interview, the worst drawing man has ever done. My parents told me I should be an artist. Someday. Your parents are lying to you, you. Hey, you know when you go to like Burger King and they have like kids do sketches for cancer? Those are better than this. <laughs> I think it. I. I mean, I could have been an artist if I wanted. That no, sort of looks. No. No. Brian. Way. Zoom in Brian, on this. Zoom Brian, in on this. All, right. all, all, right. all drawings aside. Okay. I want to say. I want to say something. Okay. We we do appreciate. Put the microphone up here so I can talk. Okay, yeah. um, we do appreciate these interviews. We have a good time. No one else really allows us to be as big of fools in interviews as Brian does. So uh -huh. continue to watch the Brian Stars interviews. Please subscribe to his channel. Follow him on Twitter, which, as I remember, is uh, twitter.com slash Brian Stars. Yes. And uh, hopefully he'll interview some other people in waiting to interview us again. Just I mean, he'll just fill his time, basically, is what he'll be doing. But Pretty much. watch the other ones, I guess. I don't know. Or just keep watching this one. And enjoy this. And our other one. Don't forget about our other one. Oh, don't forget about the other one. Or ones that we've done individually. Or do a mashup of all of them. And no, I won't do the Lightning Thunderstein voice. And uh, we're going to race now. Yes, we're going to race. All right. Where are we going to go? the that mic, Mike. Box down there? All right, guys. I am going to warn you. I am yeah. really good at racing. I really hope you're that really I call out. You're really good at racing. All right. Really I bet you're going to win. You have, like, the most. All right. Where are we running to? Um, yeah, I'm trying to tighten my belt. I'm gonna have to hold my hands up. Alright. Alright. Right. Any last words before we dock? Hey, we, we need we need someone to give us a countdown. Got it. Three, two, two, one, go. We're gonna run and go. Yeah, shoot the umbrella. Alright, run. Where are we going? The green box. Oh, okay. Are you guys right. going just there? Where are we going? The green box, right there. Hey,
He's so fast. Brian Sarris is so fast. He's really fast. Wow, he's fast. He, he, like he, when we were running, we were neck to neck. I saw him pull so far ahead of us, I just stopped caring. Brian Sarris like, is so fast. This is unwinnable. Never let anyone tell you that Brian Sarris isn't so fast. He's got to win us something. Yeah, I've lost everything. Man, you, <laughs> you are a fast guy. I, I, Did you see I that? Did you? He, Fast runner. I take back everything negative I've ever said about Brian Stokes. It's okay. High Can five, we hug Brian right Stokes. now? Yes. Oh, how, you're gonna, ooh, you wanna hug? Yes, I do. I'm afraid of your family. Oh, there you go. All, All right. right, guys, Black Belt Brides, number four, featuring Matt Good from Drugs. Check them out, and I kicked their ass in a race. You really did. And they, with that, I did get humiliated. <laughs> I don't know who won. Down. It even down. Down. Yeah, yeah. I won the race, though. Keep watching. Woo, woo. Number five. Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Come with me behind the scenes, backstage, and onto the tour bus to meet your favorite stars. Hey, what's up you guys? We're hanging out here with Asking Alexandria, the very tired all-time low. You're hanging out here with Black Veil Brides. I'll ask questions you've never heard before and get you the answers you won't find anywhere else. You said you're a Justin Timberlake fan. No. No? No. Maybe that wasn't you? Uh, Oh my god, I shouldn't have smoked all that weed. How long is this nose you have here? I have no idea. Happy so birthday, dear Bri. I am a ninja. We need to know. Oh. If you were a porn star, what would your name be? Mine would definitely just be the jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Our new song, you know, right? Uh, party like it's. Oh god, oh god. Like my balls, yeah. You guys see my balls? You know, and they're like, wee! <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm like crying. He's crying. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for brand new videos every day. Reporting for YouTube, I'm Brian Stars. Brian Stars. Brian Stars. I'm the reason you're you go on tour. You're the reason I'm here, baby.